Hello, welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is a new template gallery for Logic App Standard. Let's go. So we've recently announced the preview of a series of templates that are in a new capability for Logic App Standard that allows you to leverage templates as accelerators to go ahead and get started. Now historically we have had some templates for consumption Logic Apps, but let's be honest, they're fairly simplistic uh, just due to the nature of you know some of the things that you can do with Logic Apps consumption. Now with Logic Apps Standard there's this opportunity to build richer experiences and I would like to call them as more like solutions than templates themselves. And so if we think about what's available today, we do support the notion of single workflow templates. But in the future, we do have plans to support multiple workflow templates. So almost think of it as a package where maybe you have some messaging patterns and they're async and you want to be able to like go ahead and deploy these collectively. Uh, that's when we truly then start to talk about solutions. Obviously, Logic App Standard has this notion of maps and data transformations and the artifacts folder. So that'll be something in the future that we're able to unlock as well. And once again, be able to go after some of these like industry specific use cases and actually provide you data transformations because we have standard schemas that are being used within that particular industry itself. Now another area of future investment that we're seeing is this notion of organizational templates. So, you know, you have a dev team, you have specific standards, you have sort of a specific way of building workflows and logic apps, and maybe you've got different systems that are fairly popular in your organization. The ability for you to go ahead and publish those templates uh, to your own boundary, essentially, is, is something that we're going to be going after in the future as well. Now today we do offer a way to go ahead and contribute templates and uh, let me just go ahead and show you what's involved in that. All right, so first off, let's start with a blog post. I'll include links to the next three web pages that I'm showing in the description of this video. So Divya from our team went ahead and put this together. It just shows you how you can go ahead and use these different templates. And, and I'll give you a video walkthrough of that, but this is a good reference as a starting point. The next question is, okay, if I wanted to contribute, how do I go ahead and do that? And so this is a very important web page. This is on our Learn platform. And we talk about how you would go ahead and package up a template that you can then go ahead and you know, load into GitHub and request a PR merge and the team will look at it and then be able to go ahead and sort of integrate it into our overall template gallery. So this web page will describe what you need to do. Obviously you're gonna need a workflow.json. It's gonna to need to work naturally. Uh, so we'll show you what we're looking for from the workflow.json. Uh, there will be some references required, so do there's some specific naming conventions required here, so that is something to pay attention to. Uh, there's some images, right? We want to give a, a visual of what that template will look like when it's deployed, and then so we ask you to create a couple templates, and then also create this manifest.json file. This is the schema that's documented. You can also go into GitHub and look at other examples you know it's all in the open so that's cool and yeah and some additional information about connector IDs and whatnot and then how you would go ahead and get these into GitHub so everything is here that you need in order to make those contributions now the repo that you're going to be pushing this to is this Azure Logic App templates these are the existing templates so if you have questions you can go ahead and explore these and take a look at the manifest file or the workflow just to see like how it was done. So use this as kind of a sounding board to go ahead and, and check it out. So I'll include these links in the video description once again. And uh, let's get back to the slides. Okay, so just from an experience perspective, let's talk a little bit about how you would access these templates. So I've got a Logic App standard already deployed, right? So that is in place and I, I do have that available. 
So I've got sort of the resource, the Azure resource provisioned. Then I, what I would typically do is go ahead and click on this add button, which would create a new, uh, a new workflow. But underneath that add button, we do have add from template. And that's the button that you do want to go ahead and press. When you press on that, you're going to then be navigated towards this template gallery. And here, you're, this is a subset of the templates that we do have. But we've got a pretty decent variety. Uh, we've you know, had a lot of interest in sort of these AI templates. And so these are quite powerful. So if you want to be able to implement the rag pattern, we're going to have some get started. You know, previously we did have like a GitHub sample, which was great, it works, but there was a few more moving pieces you needed to do to go get that set up. Now, this is pretty much streamlined. Before I used to say, probably within an hour you can get this going. Now, within like 10 minutes, you can get this going. So, it's pretty cool. Naturally, messaging patterns are, are obviously quite interesting. Here we have the peak lock pattern that's been used. Uh, I did talk about on the channel before the Azure Business Process Tracking Send Alert. So this is a, a, a workflow that you can go ahead and provision, that exact workflow that I talked about before. And so, so that's cool. And then there's also others as well here. So this is just a small subset. So let's go in, let's do a demo. I'm going to demo the get message from a queue peak lock pattern just because that is uh, naturally quite interesting for people. Okay, let's get started. So I'm in the context of that Logic App Standard instance I talked about before. I'm in Workflows. I'm going to go ahead and click the Add button. Let's go ahead and click Add from Template. So now we've got the Template Gallery. As I showed you before, it was just a screenshot of the top two rows. But there's some additional ones here as well. Uh, in particular, let's call out some of these SAP use cases. And, and these are interesting in the sense that we've got SAP interfaces that use a BAPI call. We've got some that use OData as well. And then we've got just a generic try catch handle exceptions scope as well. We also have IBM MQ and once again some additional AI use cases here as well. I'm going to go ahead and choose this Azure Service Bus, uh, the peak lock pattern. So this is that image that I was referring to you before. Uh, and basically we've got sort of needs for having a light and dark sort of version of that particular workflow. But this gives you a sense of what's going to be implemented. We will also go ahead and sort of call out, um, you know, a description and then also any sort of prerequisites. So in order to use this, naturally we need to have a service bus namespace and a queue defined. So do look at that information as well. So we can now go ahead and use this template. We're going to be asked to provide a workflow name. And I'm just going to call this demo. I'll call this YT demo uh, SB peak lock. This is also interesting too. We can choose stateful versus stateless. We'll do stateful in this case. And then we've got connections. So I already have a connection to service bus within this particular logic app so I can go ahead and use that um, otherwise I can go ahead and create a new one if I want um, or use uh, an address, a previously created connection but I do know this one will work so I'm going to just leave this as is. Now what's interesting here is that we will use parameters whenever possible which is just a good practice here. So in this case we're being asked for the name of the queue and so I've got that already created. So I'm just going to paste that in here. And then batch size could be something you want to control. I'm happy with this value. That's fine for now. And then we'll go ahead and click Next. And then we can review and create. And let's go ahead and do so. All right, so that took just a couple seconds. We can now go into the workflow itself. And then view the designer. So this should all be wired up for us. Uh, we shouldn't need to make any changes. Obviously, you're welcome to make any changes you need to. This is a starting point, not the end point. Here we've got the name of those parameters that we previously got, went ahead and created. So that's pretty cool. And so if we need to make changes, we can just go to the, you know, basically to the parameters and not have to sort of hard code things. And then, you know, here the idea is like, hey, we've got peak lock. You might want to implement some business logic. So this is kind of a placeholder. But uh, yeah, you get the point. You can go ahead and sort of make those changes. So this is already saved. And, you know, this should be really good to go from, from that perspective. So, you know, we haven't processed any messages just yet, but we can go ahead 
and do that now. So let's head over to Service Bus. We've got the queue selected and let's go to the Service Bus Explorer. And then what we can do is we can send a message and we will go ahead and just provide just some very simple text and we'll go ahead and click on send that's now in the queue if we head back to our logic app we should see a message here shortly there you go just uh, that quick and so naturally now this is just a regular workflow so we can go ahead and check it out and see all of the data that's been processed hello templates and we can see that it was successfully processed so we completed the message in the queue and that message would be removed from the queue as the pattern calls for so yeah that's a very quick demo but hopefully that just demonstrates the power of templates and we're really excited with logic app standard i think it unlocks some doors that we previously couldn't go ahead and, and uh, access. And I think we can go ahead and provide some more sophisticated solutions uh, that allow for customers to rapidly go ahead and implement. So thanks for checking out this video and we'll see you again soon. Take care.